There we go. Might as well stack off a little bit of this. Now we'll stack a bit of it up here. Sometimes when I'm selling a cord, I'll measure it out on the truck. But this here is, <laughs> honestly what this is, is almost like a bonus load. It's, uh, you know, get over a... When I go out and kind of get over a cord and, and logs and bring it home and throw it out, buzz it up, and then the little bit extra I throw off on the side. So that's what this is. So I figure I'll get this stacked up, clean up things a little bit too that way, and then. Uh, See where I'm at and take care of that because uh, weather cooperating and everything else, gotta go pick up some logs I got. And by pick up, I mean <laughs> cut them uh, small enough for my hoist to load. And then I might go cut some wood off the uh, for service too for me. And then my parents may go with me. We'll cut some for them too. Because I cut mo most of my own wood comes off the for service. So. And then uh, the stuff I sell. I have to purchase a variety of different ways. I've been looking into see if the core service still bids stuff out to even buy, but primarily like leftovers from logging and stuff.
couldn't remember when I set these up if this was tied randomly or tied at four foot. Well, silly me, I guess the easy way to tell that. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, that one, anyhow, looks like it's tied just over four foot. Four foot and an inch short. Two inches. Then I always like to, because you can't get it perfectly up to that line, so I always sprinkle a couple pieces across the top. This is the way I look at it. I'd rather give someone just a little bit extra than a little bit shy. Stack in this back row. Oh, I see once it spreads out, I think that'll do it up for me. So. There we go. Start stacking this one in.
I'm not saying it's boring you with the rest of it here, but that's kind of the way I do it. I've done it with no fence posts before, but it takes a little time to make your little end stand. So it uh, do this and then carry it on out. So first one takes four, but then each each one after that takes two. So we'll have a full row across. We'll have a full row across the back here from the outside of there to the outside of there, eight foot. So, you know, this is 16 inch wood, so it'll be five foot, four inches would be the actual length of these rows here in the middle. And then the side ones are four foot long and four foot tall, so I stack them all four foot tall. And, it takes uh, four by four by eight up. There's a cord, and then if I want to put another cord in front of here, it only takes two more fence posts. Then you can just keep on going that way. And I got some scrap metal stuff to get rid of, and I can put a couple more here too. You know, a whole nother stack of them here. And, you know, uh, just keep rolling with it. And, you know, what I have done in the past when I had a bunch of it was be to have it be four foot inside of these. We've done that before, just did long rows and then uh, left those rows. But with this new truck that doesn't work out, with this flatbed, <laughs> I need, you know, that, that bed's just under, no, well, I guess it's 10 foot long, but it, it would be tight because that bed, it's like seven, six wide. So be be kind of hard to crawl out the window, so. No sense boring you with the rest of it, I'll turn you off and keep stacking. So, that's the video I got for you guys today. I appreciate you watching.